Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to 30XX, which is, as you probably guessed it if you know, it is the sequel to 20XX and a very, very on-the-nose homage to Mega Man. Uh, let's see, hello. So we got standard, or, ah, uh, ha, that's awesome. Okay, uh, so I was actually just complaining about this before we got going, but, uh, it is, it is a Mega Man roguelike, roguelite? It's got co-op, I'm not actually sure if online co-op is currently in, but I saw a pop-up for Steam Remote Play, so maybe that works well enough. But, I absolutely adore the first one, could never beat it because it was hard as shit, and I suck, and... So, I, I was really afraid that this is going to be exactly the same kind of game. However, uh, let's see. So, I gotta look at this one. So, I think both of these modes might not actually be so bad, because I know it's got meta progression. And I think for now, at least, we're going to throw it on Mega Mode, and I might come back for Standard Mode later. Main reason being, this is an Early Access. It's an Alpha. And I think it'll just be easier for me to play it in Mega Mode for the time being. And just have some fun. Oh, look at that. They even got the level select I'm looking for. All right, so, uh, standard platformer. Oh, hello. Increase difficulty, spend currency, grow strong. So we can increase our max HP, energy, auto charge, always unlocked in challenges. Yeah, bunch of just basic meta progression. This makes the game harder, but I bet what it does is it increases uh, it increases your rewards. Zone generation level, enemies deal more damage, spikes uh, deal extra damage. 3, 6, 9,999. Cool. Useful for farming, I guess. So you can also play as Nina or Ace. Ace being pretty much the zero of this game. I think I'm going to start with Nina for the time being. Oh, do I just have auto charge on? Did it remember that I had set that in the settings in the demo? I have no idea. Uh, let's see if I can get to the settings. Where does it even have that turned on? Or is that just defaults? I don't see an option to turn it off anymore. Okay. Well, that's fine. Anyway. I don't know about you guys, I grew up with Mega Man X, and for some weird reason I'd always go after uh, Storm Eagle. It was Storm Eagle, right? I think it was. So let's start by fighting the bird. Auto, auto charge is a power-up. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, if it's just on, in def on by default in Mega Mode. If so, I sure? Okay, as usual, cannot shoot up. That's fine, yep. How much do we want to bet there's something interesting down there? I don't think so. I can't... I can't dash yet. Oop. Why am I... Oh! There's this here. That's that's why I can't do biscuits. I'm pretty sure I can't shoot. Nope! Okay, so that that's apparently a regular enemy. No, I've got to be able to dash, right? Ah! That's how I dash. Okay. There we go. It's still got the usual jump dash. I probably should have played the tutorial beforehand, but with a Mega Man like especially, I feel like you absolutely... These games should be able to speak for themselves. It'd be really strange for a Mega Man game especially not to. I don't know about you guys, but like... Mega Man, Binding of Isaac, Super Mario... Always felt like games that were... Almost perfectly designed in terms of, uh, in terms of tutorialization. Like you didn't need to know anything going into either of them. It was just obvious. Uh, and the level, the initial level, especially, was set up in such a way. Whoops. Uh, it was set up in such a way that it was almost impossible to misunderstand what you were supposed to do. Uh, oh, got it. But I should probably take a look at the controls, at the very least. Oh, this is fun. 
Oh, oh. Gosh, the music and the pixels. I uh, so the first, the first twenty XX game is kind of flash style. They went full pixels for this one. I think that was the right choice. Uh, I was talking to Shell. For those of you not aware on my channel, uh, Shell's my fiance and uh, co co-host on this channel. I'm betting that's just lava down there. Yeah, it is. I guess I'm looking for secrets where there might not be as many. Uh, just because this is procedurally generated. Okay, there we go. Well, this is something different. Or is um. Uh, let's see. Oh, hell yeah. This is out? Yep. Uh, let's see. If you don't have a copy Rito, uh, bug me and I'll... S or just send me a message and I will get you in contact with the PR people. Uh... But, anyway, what was I going to say? Right, I was having a conversation with Shell about pixel art, because we played, well, we did the, the demo-thon recently where it was just, you know, a ton of games uh, as part of the Steam Winter Game Festival. And uh, she was really excited for a couple of pixel art games, and I was really surprised by that because up until that point, she had been pretty dismissive, and the answer was Children of Morta finally convinced her that, like, pixel art could be beautiful. Um, and this? This is really beautiful. Like, these are, these are some of the sweetest pixels I've seen in a while. And there's a lot of really pretty pixel games. That shell was just your roommate. What? Don't be joshing now. Oh. Oh. Got it. Shoot the switch. Nope. Well. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do I pop this open? Yes. And we get Oxjack's Guile. Dashing grants a shield. Cool. We still don't have air dash, but I'll take what I can get. Not a fan of the pixels. That's a shame. These are nice. Especially that background work. Like... The environments are pretty, the characters are nice looking, but those backgrounds are just joyous to look at. Not really sure if Oxjack Skyle was exactly what I'm, I need for this. I'm actually really curious about upgrades in Mega Mode. How much I get to. Oh, well, that's not the most helpful. Yeah, how much do I have to be afraid of these spikes? Or these spikes, these sparks. I don't know why people need hyper-realistic graphics in games. Yeah, especially... Oh. Okay, they do hurt. Not a whole lot of hit feedback in this. Oh, boys. I'm going to die. I was trying to get up and over. Alright. Well, we got a level... Did I get a whole lot of nuts? No, I actually didn't get much of anything. Do I get to keep my upgrade at the very least? I do! Okay, so I get to keep my cores and my augs. We didn't get any loot. We'll try a different zone. I'm just gonna keep going until I, uh... Until I find a good foothold. Woohoohoo! Look at this! This is pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dig Mega Mode, partly also from the perspective of, I love me some roguelikes, but repetition is something that kind of uh, wears on me a little bit. That, for me, a roguelike should generally be 30 to 45 minutes, and I remember 20XX being, like, two hours long? Unless you're, like, a hyper-awesome speedrunner. Which, I know there are a number, and they were in my comment section, at least for a little bit. Oh, having auto-charge mode on is just so nice. Like, I actually bought a special controller when I was a kid. Uh, so when I played Mega Man, uh, I could just have... Not auto-charge, because it didn't work... Wait, no, no, no. I had both an auto-charge function and a... Uh, I had an auto-charge function and a hyper-rapid-fire mode, which actually skunked certain bosses, like, really fast. 
Like, I, I think we could just demolish Panzer Dragoon before he actually got the chance to shoot back in X4, which was just great. But this is going to save my fingers so much, because that was one of my big problems with uh, 20XX, is that it destroyed my hands. Boy, uh, let's see, what other topics am I stuck on? I'm stuck on all sorts, and I can't even read chat. 20XX was an hour long-ish for you. I think it's once you got used to it, but the problem is 20XX was just... It was brutal on the platforming side of things, at least for me. Um, which made it a little tougher. Oh, I can't kill that thing. I'm not sure how killable it is, though. Or at least, I can do damage to it. Or is it the boss? Wait! Oh! This is the boss! Okay. There we go. I gotta get used to using the dash to avoid enemy hits. Nope, didn't work. Oh, I got tons of HP. Oh, this music is obscenely good. Okay, it's not the actual boss, it's a, it's a mid-boss. I should probably clarify. Receive something. Select an AUG. Extend your invul vulnerability frames, extra max health, or increase mobility, reduces damage. Ooh. Let's go for the kinetic. Okay, so extra run speed and jump height at the cost of my damage. Interesting. What is this thing? I have no idea. I'll take it. Okay, so we get perks. I can dig the mobility, and juice reserves. Power damage scales up with energy. Energy boost powers. Well, I don't have any of that anyway. Ow, didn't work. Okay, so yeah, my damage definitively is down by one, but my mobility is crazy high in comparison to where I was at earlier. There goes one. There goes some health. Delete that guy. And got it. I will die for a dollar. At least in video games. Not in real life. God, that would be such a waste. Uh, it's sweet. Oh, I can't wait till we get some more power-ups to switch between. I'm really curious how inventory management is handled. Because I could see it actually being really, really busted. Being able to build the way you want to build. Ah, shoot. I, got, I, I should be able to get up there. I don't actually know if there's anything up high. But ever since I found out that there's a stupid Hadouken in uh, Mega Man X... Oh, there's, there's nothing up there. Uh, there's a Hadouken in Mega Man X that you straight up, like, ultra secret, I had no idea it ever existed. Like, ever since I found out about that, I have just been really obsessed with the idea of looking for secrets in these games. Well, here's one. I think this is spend money for health, though, which isn't really that helpful. There we go. 
Like, how many of you guys played Mega Man X and knew about the Hidoken? Because I didn't find out about it until a couple of my my YouTube friends uh, contemplate. A hey. oh, it's like a battle arena. Whoops. Uh, until a couple of my YouTube friends back when I first started my channel, uh, more or less were just like, "Yeah, we're going to Hundo uh, Hundo Mega Man X and uh, hang out like kind of as a podcasty thing." and get the Hadouken, because it's apparently, like, really hard to get that jump, and I was just like, there's a Hadouken? Ballistic Blast- oh boy! <laughs> Bam! Alright, I'll take that. And all the way to X3 has little secrets that are awarded from completion and some shenanigans. In the third game, holding out on a permanent upgrade. Oops. I guess I should probably pay more attention to what I'm doing. Actually, is that health pickup still there? Take it back? Yeah! Probably not going back for, but still. Get the what? Hadoken? Hadoken is uh what the uh what the two protagonists, I guess, from Street Fighter uh fire. It's effectively a just a small well small energy blast if you're a DBZ fan. Uh, but it's their signature move. And because this is this is a Capcom game, they uh ow. I'm not really sure if I want to hold on to this. It's hilarious, but practicality Well, it's not the most practical. It's fun to use, but it's weird. The X2 had the Shoryuken, X3 had golden armor. From there, they stuck with Zero getting Dark Zero, and X getting the ultimate armor. I remember getting, uh... In X4, I got Zero the... The ult... Uh, the Dark Armor or whatever. Which gave you, like, a dash that was just busted. Um, and it... It actually made Mega Man X4 considerably more completable on my end. I don't think there's anything over there at boss time. Getting close, at the very least. Max energy. Potato battery. Aw. I gotta play Portal at some point. Uh, Three dollars for one HP. Well, you know what? This is less of a roguelike, so I can kind of farm levels if I want to. What do we have down here? Let's keep going up for a second see what I get. Okay, that's boss hole. What's down below? Probably damage and death. Oh yeah, that's that's not even a platform I can stand on. Well. Oh gosh, Capcom. Uh, can you make these games again? Whoops. This is a problem. Okay. He mad. Ow. How much HP do I have left? Not much. HP. 2 HP in a dream. Damn it. Got close. Back to HQ. We'll take the Ogs with us. We got close. Ah. Mega Man, uh, Capcom did recently release a new version of Mega Man and an X game. Did they? They re-released them. Okay. 
Oh, I only have one of these. What do we use the bolts on? Maybe it's over to the right. Yeah, they re-released them. Nothing new. Scrap recycler. Ah, here we go. So I can get a heart container. Charging draws in pickups or powers do more damage. I guess let's go for the heart container. Okay, do we want to try fighting him again? I question. Can I can I get rid of this? Ah, I can. Yes. Yeah, they just back to X one to four, and then five into uh, five and eight into another. Got it. But yeah, to my knowledge, Capcom hasn't really been terribly interested in the Mega Man franchise. Personally, I feel like the best return of form would probably be the uh, the Legends franchise, just because I feel like it has maybe more room to grow. This is weird. Honestly, we might actually want to put the uh, we want to might want to put this back on. Whoop! Bad happy ball. There we go. Can't hit that for beads. All right, I'll just be here. Yep. Mega... Uh, let's see. Yeah, specifically, I feel like Mega Man Legends and... Uh... Ow. What the hell? Ow. I'm going to die. What is this level? What are these enemies? Okay. Bad snack. Yes, yeah, seriously. Ah, uh, damn it. But, uh... Did it get faster? Nah, I couldn't have. But I feel like you could kind of come up with, like, a... HD re-release of Legends. Uh, Legends 1 and 2 is kind of one package, and then just like a Legends 3 standalone, uh, full, like, new game. This is bonkers out. Why? Man, I was rocking it earlier, and then we just got here, and then this happened. What the hell is this level? This is a fever dream. It really does remind me of that, uh, oh shoot, what was the mushroom in X4? His stage was weird. Either that or, like, Spark Mandrill, kind of. Actually, now that I think about it, the, uh, the Peacock also had a really weird set of levels. What? Seriously? Nothing here? All right. Yeah, Legends was amazing. It had just so much interest and potential. And, like, can you imagine Legends as a, uh, like, redefined as a sprawling kind of 3D Metroidvania? Uh, with really, uh... Huh. I just... Ah, shit, Bad Snake. At least I've got room to fight this dang thing. There it goes. Well, on the flip side, killing Bad Snake is worth it. Let's stay away from that general area. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. So much of this is just baffling. Whoops. I, I really gotta play Mega Man Legends at some point. I, like, I'm a huge fan of Mega Man games in general, but I feel like Legends was something truly special, and it's a bit of a, oh, oh boy, uh, it's a bit of a shame that one specifically was kind of left unfinished. 
I'm sure it was just kind of like a weird niche game that a lot of people weren't interested in, and so it, it never quite got the owl. Oh. Well, I ain't getting that. I'm di dying well before I'm getting that loot box. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave this level for way later because, oh no, it's Bad Snake! Okay, uh, first and foremost, we gotta, we gotta turn this off. I wonder if you can get the boss to insta-give itself. No. Might survive this one. I don't know where he's going. Okay, you're definitely getting faster. Which is a giant worry considering my current HP bar. But there's a lot of level for me to maneuver around here. Oh, nope! Damn it! I didn't even notice that. Well, it's okay. We got a lot of bits. Whew. Yeah, of course the Sneko zoom the longer it is. Okay. Yeah, co-op setup. I'll have to try that. Probably got the charging magnet. Now is that just... Yep, that's just an automatic aug. Hell yeah. Now we have... One of these. Wow, everything is pricey. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying all of the new levels. Augs last forever, what? So I'm playing in mega mode, which makes it so there's no permadeath. This looks rough. Actually, no it doesn't. What am I saying? Getting arc beam is secretly like, probably one of the most convenient things to have happened to me already. Anyway, uh, let's see, how would I describe it? Mega Mode is... What other games have something kind of Mega Mode-ish? I don't know. What other roguelikes... Can you flip a switch and turn it into, like, a not-roguelike mode? There aren't many! And there aren't many that do it this well. Oops. Oops. Ow. Well, we get to go to the glory zone at least. Which sounds really weird. But yeah, 20XX absolutely needed this mode. Yeah, I feel like a lot of... Oh, you know what? I know... I know which, uh... I know which roguelike has this kind of mode. Uh, Stone Hearth. And I, I think actually a lot of traditional, like, old-school roguelikes do, where it's just like, oh, you don't want to do per permadeath. All right, we got you covered. And, like, can I just say that's actually one of my favorite things about roguelikes is that a number of them now are just like, yeah, you can turn that off. We ain't, we ain't judging you. You know, the fan base might, but that's, like, my number one most wanted thing out of... Honestly, a lot of roguelikes. It sucks a little bit, because you abs- Oop. Oop. Boy. The hell? Okay. There we go. I'm not even gonna try and go for the other one. It ain't worth it. Okay. I wish there was a way that I could turn this on and off freely. I understand why I can't, but it would certainly be handy. 
All right. It's just a little little trigger trigger button. It's like, all right, I want to go into lob mode for a while. Oh, I ain't getting that health. I'm just going to be flipping this on and off. I It's the most, like, busted things. Do you get boss weapons? Yes. You absolutely get boss power-ups in this. That is a, that is 100% a thing. We just haven't gotten it yet. Oh. Wait, we already had... I didn't realize I could get multiple of these. That's interesting. I wonder what that does. Well, back to the glory zone. Have I checked the settings? No, I really should. Well, like, I've checked the settings settings, but I haven't actually checked my controls. Up, down, dash, jump, back, pause, activate, thing. <laughs> I love that wording. No, there's no easy way for me to turn it on. Oh, there is quick, quick drop. And double tap dash. I'm not going to do uh, turn any of them on, but I appreciate that they exist. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, what? Oh. It just warped me back to my previous glory zone. Wait, maybe that's what it's supposed to Oh! I was in the glory zone that entire time. I just totally forgot about it. <laughs> I can brain. I just... I got so into what I was doing, I totally forgot where I was. Okay, there we go. Yeah, come to think of it, this is a good way to please both the casuals and hardcores. And the long-term fans that don't want the roguelike mode, but might still want a challenge. Because there are ways to turn up the difficulty. Like, accessibility and customizability is whoops whoa boy howdy those are two of my like absolute uh absolutely most like interested things uh as far as the next couple of years go is oh it's an enemy that's lurking above me whoops Okay, let's get rid of you. Nope, I can't. Okay, turn this back off then. Ow, ow. Oh, this sucker is mean. Okay, I got him stuck in a bad spot though. Got it. Okay, receive something. Max hearts plus four. Enemies drop more armor. Powers deal more damage. Uh, uh, max health. Let's just be tank boy. Is that an AUG? That is an AUG. I feel like at some point I'm going to have to be able to pick and choose between these. Spend ten nuts at a token, uh, as a token in a slot machine. Well, haven't found any slot machines yet, so there's that. Yeah, don't know how you survived that. Ah, uh, pixel-perfect dodging, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure if I really des deserved to survive. Levels got chunky. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out here where it's where it's safe. 
There aren't clocks trying to kill the shit out of me. I'm appreciating all the loot. And honestly, even from some other weird perspective, this is really cool on a slightly different flavor of classic Mega Man. Because in classic Mega Man, like, there were secrets to find and kind of loot, but you never really, like, cared about any of it. Here, I actually, like, care about exploring and, like, well, okay, no, you care about you care about the loot and the power-ups, but, like, once you've found every heart tank, there's no reason to explore or, like, return to a level once you've got everything. Okay, there we go. But here it's like enemy drops like a bolt, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, no, classic Mega Man actually had a reason to do do it, because there were power-ups that you could buy. I'm mostly thinking an X. I never really played classic Mega Man. I played a little bit of... What was the recent one? With the time powers? Was that 11? I, I think it was 11. 11 kicked my ass. Nope, can't go in there. Nope. This is gonna take some time. I'm gonna wait for a bit. Yeah. X8 kind of gave you a reason to repeat levels. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, there are definitely a number of the uh, the later ones. Where it was kind of worthwhile. I can remember... Uh, was it X5 or X6? Ah, wow! Snipes! This guy absolutely is shooting at me. He's not just shooting randomly, he is shooting in my general direction. There we go. Grab that, avoid. One thing I will say about the latest, like, I guess, OG Mega Man is the uh, the soundtrack for the most recent one was absolutely baller. That's why I've had upgrades to equip on every character. Man, I should go back and play them, but I just, I know I'm going to get my shit kicked. And some part of me is kind of comfortable not experiencing that again. Like, maybe, maybe it's not so bad now that I'm a professional <laughs> gamer. And it's so weird to think of myself as such, but it's like, I absolutely am better at games now that I've been playing them for a living. And honestly, I guess that shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Go figure. I play video games every day. Like, you pick up some shit that way. I, even though YouTube comments are like, how are you this dumb? And it's like, try talking over a video game. No, seriously, try it. It's... it's stinky. I... I'm a little tilted. There was a, a rather extra shitty comment uh, earlier today, and it was just like... I don't need that kind of shade. I swear there's gonna be something up there. X5 boss fights are still nightmarish. X6 has a volcano phoenix level and drives people insane. Yeah, it's like... I would play a... a Mega Man... oh god. What is this? It will. Okay. It is time for ultimate coward strats. You cannot handle me. I will be here. Lob. I I would consider lob, but it still opens me up to the beam. So we're going to start by killing the... Uh, the second lowest gear and then work our way up. I could fight the rest, I got a shit ton of HP, but honestly, 
I... Why play correctly when you can play cheesy? Like, why why risk myself? Why why risk my limited HP pool? He's trying. They're gonna nerf this. Like, guaranteed they're gonna they're gonna get rid of this low-hanging wall. Oh, that's okay, that's spookier. Ow. Okay, so they get they get mad. Ah! Ah! I... Flip side, I'm going to say... Christ, this mid-boss is... Stinky! Okay, time to get rid of Lob. We don't need it anymore. Like this, this guy is a damn bullet hell. Like maybe you are supposed to coward, coward stress this one. Like I'm not gonna say I've been coward, uh, counter cheese, so much as just freaking hell. Okay, I'm kind of learning it's pa pattern. Yeah, it's a pattern. Okay. Now it's time to switch back to lob. You know, a while back, I said... Wait, did I take- Oh, there's spikes there. A little while ago I said, the lob shot is going to be like the cheesiest thing, and I'm so glad I got it first. I stand by that. I don't even know how you'd comfortably fight this thing otherwise. Whew! That was a mid-boss and a half! I guess the real trick might have been fight the bottom first? Or, fight the... sorry. Hello? Aiming gear. Eight directional goodness. Fusion, aim. Oh, is that actually, like... that was the boss fight. Man, Sojourn Forth, I, you have no idea how validated I, I feel, um, ooh, hello, uh, how validated I feel playing on Mega Mode. <laughs> Max health plus one, also full health, increases speed by a lot, gotta go real fast. I, I live for the memes. Oh, can I turn this off? No, I can't turn Augs off. Okay, so max HP, max energy. And the rest are locked. I have no idea how to get those. Alright, well... Echo Beast. Does that mean you can't... Uh, you can aim up now? Only with Lob Shot, not with regular Shot. Oh, freaking moles! Well, you know what? Time to turn Lob Shot back on. Aha! 
Aha! I see that you too like to lob. But here's the question. Who is the superior lobsman? Me. Duh. Ow. Well. That's cool. Alright. Then we turn lob back off. I think I played this level when I was in the demo. Haha. <laughs> Man, at some point I'm going going to get a uh, double jump, and then I'm going to be stinky. Oh shoot! Okay, battle of the lob saw. But I am superior because I have cover, and he has occasional cover. Aha! Armor. Oh, you can actually shoot the, uh... Oops. Stalactites off. Gosh darn moles. Okay, turn the lob back off. What does stinky mean? I don't know. Whatever I want, really. I just... Look. You do YouTube enough... And you, you talk in your own vacuum for long... Oh, well, that didn't work. YouTube and Twitch long enough, and you kind of start coming up with your own language, almost. Or, not language, but like... Oh, damn it. There we go. Eh, damage is doing fine. It's... I don't know, it's just easy to build up, like, a weird repertoire of that wasn't worth it. Uh, of just, like, strange things that you start saying. Catchphrases, shorthands, slang. And also, Stinky is really fun to say. I'm pretty... Boy, howdy, what the hell is this? Um... I'm sorry. Yeah, that works better. <laughs> Got speed. There we go. This level's dirty. Anyway, uh, I think stinky for me at least comes from... Um, from the Stinky Cheese Man, which is like an old children's book. Um, but effectively, it's like dirty cheese or anything like that. Stinky is just more fun to say than dirty. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if the speed up actually increased my shot speed. Or like, how fast I shoot. I think it might, actually. Ow. I can just... <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say I should have shot over him, but turns out that wasn't necessary. Okay. I don't know. What about you guys? Any weird, weird phrases or sayings that you like to say? Hmm. Okay. hang out right here. I'm generally pretty safe. Alright, uh, there goes one. The other one get extra mad? No. The other one just stays regular mad. Oh, it actually does warn you where they're popping into. There's just so much to pay attention to, it's easy to miss. Got him. Get some chests, or... 
cash? Okay. Power kills might restore health. Oh, right, I have powers. Another mobility realizer. I am maximum fast. Yeah. I have a gear shot that I can probably use if I remember that it exists. I've got to be getting close to maximum run speed. Well, this will only end poorly for me. We got another kinetic converter. Whee! On the plus side, I'm a speedrunner's dream bow. Okay, that only affected my damage. The smidge. Oh, I've been here. Uh, that was easy. Okay, second jump. Oh, I have to do equip it though. Holy crap, that is expensive. Let's It's um It's certainly interesting. I There we go. I'm probably going to get myself killed for this, but that's okay. Since when could you do that? Since just now. The original glory zones were sometimes a mess. Yup. chest up there. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I, I'm i going to use this to do some wild sticky nonsense. Damn it. Ugh. That's all. <laughs> Dude's just mad. He's like, you can't lob that much! That's my thing! Is he dead? No! He ain't! Wow. Rude. Whoops. Well. Boy. Well. Time to die. Yep. Time to die. Wander's going places. This is chaos. Going fast. Whee! All right. Let's go back here. Uh, oh, by beating the boss, we got another tier. That's what's going on. All right. So I absolutely adore this game. It's got great pixels, great music, great gameplay. Like, uh, just, okay. Guilty admission might actually play better than the Mega Man games. I could be wrong, but it just, it feels right. And... There are definitely a couple of moments where I've just kind of like bonked into enemies and gotten stuck or just like careened into stuff that I didn't mean to. But I think a lot of that is just pure user error more than anything else. But I, I don't know. It's just, it's lovely and I can't wait to play more. That said, it is in alpha right now. It says so in the top right corner, uh, if you didn't see that. Which means this game is very much not done yet and won't be done for a while. Which is, I mean, it's a bit of a small tragedy if only because this game is so good. I want to have access to that much more of it that much sooner but alas is what it is we'll just have to be patient so i got one more episode uh sitting around where i actually managed to defeat a couple more bosses and then we're probably going to put this somewhat back on the back burner for a while you know maybe i'll play the regular roguelike mode for a while just to you know see how that goes 
But to be entirely honest, I think the Mega Mode is better for me. Uh, it took me a little bit to understand exactly how the Mega Mode works, which is namely, uh, M Mega Mode does not reset the levels, period. I was originally under the impression that, like, if you die, it sends you back, but you get to keep all your stuff, which on one hand would be really cool, on the other hand, you end up hella broken, and honestly, not having to worry about death in this game, you still end up hella broken, just slightly less hella broken. So, with all that said, uh, 30XX is out today, and it is 100% worth picking up. Uh, the question is kind of when. Personally, like, if you're, if you're like me, and you really love Mega Man, you really love 20XX, and you want to get more of that, I honestly, I'd actually say probably just play 20XX if you haven't played it yet. And if you're totally out of 20XX, then give this a shot or wait for this to come out in 1.0. Just because there's, or maybe not 1.0, but a little ways down the line. Because this is a fantastic product, but it's got a long ways to go before it's done. Doesn't mean it's bad, just means it needs time. So... I guess with all that said, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, not of this absolute embarrassment of a platforming section, this area is tough. <laughs> Holy crap. Anyway, if you want to see more random, awesome indie games and roguelikes and more, hit subscribe because I've got tons of them just waiting to release. With all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay.